Have you ever wanted to escape from people? There are some places that make it a lot easier to avoid humans. In my home state of Illinois, there are many areas that have very few people in them, so in this video, I'm taking a look at the 10 smallest communities in the land of Lincoln. There are very few available photos of these areas, so I had to make do with what I could, so please don't leave angry comments about how I didn't include images of the places I'm talking about. Now, with that said, let's get started. Number 10, Annapolis. Annapolis has 43 residents with an average age of 30.6. 17 of those people are employed, 13 in food service and accommodation, and 4 in retail, with their average commute time taking 25 minutes. 100% of the homes are occupied by the homeowner, and the households have an average of two cars each. The people here pay an average property tax of less than $800. Number 9, Winona. The population of Winona is comprised of 40 people and 12 households with an average age of 33.7. They have 25 employed residents with 8 in healthcare, 7 in utilities, 3 in retail, 3 in public administration, 2 in agriculture, and 2 in other services. The median household income is $84,286. 23 of the employees drive to work alone, since the average number of cars in this area is 4 per household, but 2 carpool, and the average commute time is 22.6 minutes. 91.7% of the households are occupied by the homeowner, and property taxes average between $800 and $1,500. Number 8. Floraville. There isn't much data available for this community. What I could find is that there are 33 white people living here within 17 households and they have an average age of 39.5. They have a median household income of $57,169. The property value in this community is $165,435 and the only thing they seem to have here is a church. Number seven, Gulfport. Gulfport has 29 residents living in 11 households. They have an average age of 57.5. 13.8% of the residents are foreign born. However, all 29 of them are now US citizens and they're all white people. I couldn't find any information on what their countries of origin are, so if anyone knows, leave it in the comment section. 16 people in this community have a job. Six are in material moving occupations, two in food preparation, two in building and grounds cleaning and maintenance occupations, and there's one each in transportation, firefighting, construction and extraction, insulation maintenance and repair, legal, and office and administrative support. The average commute time is 18.8 minutes with five people carpooling and 11 driving to work alone. They have an average of one car per household, which might be why some of them carpool. The median household income is $57,917. The home ownership rate is 90.9%. The previous year it was 100%, so someone has started renting out their house. Those who do own their homes pay between $2,000 and $3,000 in property taxes. Number 6. Rockwood. Rockwood has always been a tiny community. In 1880, the population was 237. By recent estimates, it is now down to 28, spread across 11 households. The poverty rate for this little village is 7.14, meaning that it affects two women, with one being between the ages of 55 and 64, and the other being over 75. The average age of its residents is 53.8. They have 12 employees, with 3 in education, 2 in healthcare or social services, 3 in manufacturing, 2 in transportation and warehousing, 1 in wholesale, and 1 in public administration. The median household income is $66,250. The median property value is $55,000, and 81.8% of the homes are occupied by the homeowner, meaning that 5 of Rockwood's residents rent. Number 5. Fultz. Fultz is a community of 25 people who live in 8 households. They have a 4% poverty rate, which equals out to one person, and according to the census report, that would be a male between the ages of 55 and 64. This might be the one employee who works in food service. They have 17 employed residents in total, with the others being 4 in office administration, 4 in transportation, 5 in management positions, and 3 in sales. The average commute time for these workers is 30.3 minutes. The median household income is $78,750. The median age of the residents is 35.8, and two residents served in the Vietnam War. Households in this community have an average of three cars, and the median home property value is $85,000, with 100% of the homes being occupied by the homeowner. 
Number 4. Valley City Valley City is a bit of a misnomer. It isn't exactly big enough to be considered a city. There are only 22 people in this area according to recent estimates. The 2010 census only had 13 people, so there's been some growth. The median average age of the residents is only 15.6. The population reside in four households, and only four people in this community work, so it seems that these are probably single parents with children in the home. 100% of the residents live below the poverty line, and they have an average of only one car per household. Number 3. Bentley Bentley has 20 residents living in 12 households. The property value for this community is $55,000, and out of the 20 who live here, 18 own their homes. That means that not only do two people rent, but someone bought a home here and decided that making it a rental property would be a good idea. The households here have an average of four cars, which is higher than the national and state averages. Maybe this is because 20% of the people from this area who work are employed as medical practitioners and they can afford luxuries. There are 15 people out of the 20 who live here who have jobs, and they have an average commute time of 35 minutes. The demographic makeup of this town is 18 white non-Hispanic and 2 white Hispanic people, making this the only village on the list with anything other than just regular white people. The median age in this town is 58.7. Two of the residents are Vietnam War veterans, and one is a World War II vet. Number 2. Time. Time was once a tourist destination, but today it has largely been abandoned. There are only 10 people remaining in this tiny village, comprising 7 households. This is down from 22 people a decade ago. The few who do live here seem to be stuck. They have a median household income of only $21,250, so 60% of the residents live below the poverty line. Only one person in the village works. Their job is in manufacturing, and they commute 25 minutes to get there. Two residents are Vietnam War veterans, and the median age for the people here is 71.5. The people here do all own their own homes, but the median property value is only $17,500. Number 1. Kaskaskia It was originally settled by the French, and it had a peak population of around 7,000 in the 1700s. When Illinois became a state in 1818, Kaskaskia became the first capital, however that was short-lived. The capital was moved to Vandalia the following year because Kaskaskia is prone to flooding from the Mississippi River. At the time of the 2010 census, there were 14 people living there. Today, there are only 10 people left, with the four remaining households being occupied by the homeowner. They have an average age of 48. The median household income information is unknown, but they do have eight people who work. Four in transportation, two in management in the industry category of agriculture, forestry, fishing, and hunting, and two in retail sales. They spend an average time of 25 minutes commuting to work. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield. field.